right, it's Tuesday the 21st. Today would have been my grandmother's 90th birthday. It's not, she died like a years ago, so, but yeah, it would have been, so that's kind of cool. Anyways, I got three things in the mailbox to check out. First one is a purchase that I made on Sport Lots. These ones are going to get a letter written and then uh, turned around and sent out, and hopefully we'll have uh, something to uh, something to show signed on them here in a few weeks. Hopefully less than that, but several cards of Joe Klecko, new Hall of Famer, I believe, if I remember right. That he got in uh, this past, uh, this most recent ballot that was announced, but yeah, I needed him for a set that I'm doing. I've had bad luck on him before, but uh, Jeff from TTM casted that he's gotten him by mail before, so I'm like, all right, you know what, we'll give him a try, and not only did he get him, he's gotten him twice, so I'm like, all right, maybe he just had something against the card that I sent, so I've got a couple others to send along with the uh, set card that I need, so we'll see what happens there. <clears throat> Uh, anyways, we've got, uh, this one is PL, and it comes from, postmark from Maine, of all places. This is going to be a former, I believe, Brewer, maybe Astro, a couple other teams in there, but at the very least, those to Mariner, Mariners as well, if I'm right, but, uh, Mr. Pete Ladd is who we'll be seeing out of here, pitcher for those teams. And good, we'll show you that one off, but yeah, he signed all four cards that I sent. Big one being this one, the, uh, he even switched pens for it, they used a, uh, thin tip blue pen on this one. For the 1980 Astros Future Stars rookie, I had already had it signed by Alan Nicely there in the middle. Got Lad on it now. You can see his signature right there. Well, there we go. That should be good there. I uh, haven't been able to find anything on Reggie Baldwin, unfortunately, though. So this is probably going to sit at two out of three here for quite a while. But good thing is, uh, though, Pete Ladd signed all the other cards I sent there as well. <clears throat> Very happy to get those. So, yeah, my uh, computer and camera and everything just kind of slid right off there. So, uh... We'll try this part, portion again, though, but ZK, the initials on this one, postmarked in uh, Cleveland. No, uh, forget it. Take out that middle part in three, two, one. Well, that was interesting. Um, I, uh, everything just slid right off of there, and when I got it all reset, it slid off the other way. So, anyways, we'll try this third item here again real quick. Initials on this one, ZK, comes to us from Cleveland, Ohio, and I mailed this one out in November of 2021, so it has been out over a year. It's an indoor soccer one, though. One that I need for my set project there. And, wow, he didn't seal the envelope. I mean, the uh, peel is still right on there, there. So, uh, somehow managed to stay uh, closed up, though. And it's from Zoran Carrick. And, uh, let's see, where did he... Yeah, he did sign right uh, on the edge there. It's in pen there. It's kind of tough to see. Kind of get the light shining on it a bit. See it right there. But this one finishes off this team card, I believe. One, two, three, four, five. And I have one, two, three. Yeah, all five players on it. So, uh... That's Zoran Carrick, George Fernandez, Bronco Segota, Brian Quinn, and uh, George, uh, did I say George Fernandez? Yeah, George Fernandez, Zoran Carrick, Bronco Segota, Brian Quinn, and Kevin Crow was the other one that signed it. So, finally, got this one completed. Took quite a while to get it all done, but it's another uh, multiplayer uh, card completely knocked out for my indoor soccer project. Super excited to get that one back. So, uh, there you go, another one. Another one bites the dust on the indoor soccer project. So, yeah, just uh, mailed out about, I think it was 13 just a bit ago. So uh, we'll have, hopefully, some of those will be turned around and coming back quickly. A few of them may take quite a while, but, yeah, we'll see. And I got enough stamps to mail out probably another 40 or 50 right now. Got a bunch pulled that I'm going to write here in the next few days. I'm not sure who after that. I actually have enough stamps to send out, I think, three more to Slovakia. One to the Czech Republic, one to Australia, and one to Canada. So... Yeah, trying to think of who did we use those uh, those ones on. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. But at the very least, hey, got those uh, mailed out and got more on the way. All right, it's Wednesday the 22nd. I have a big envelope right here. So it comes from a purchase that I made on the uh, Net54 baseball boards. This guy, uh, Tim, messages me and he said, uh, hey, uh, I've got some Corey Snyder stuff on my uh, site here. Check it out, see if there's anything you need. And it's like, um, yeah, there's like uh, 15 or 20 items that I needed there. So I'm like, yeah, we'll go ahead and grab all of those. So uh, fortunately, they are here. So I'm going to go ahead and show those off. All right, let's see here. Packaged very well, fortunately, because the post office managed to lose it for about a day or so. They insisted that, oh, yeah, it's it's uh, it's not, uh, not addressed correctly. And I'm like, that's the second time you guys have claimed that, and it's been addressed just fine. So, uh, no. Not buying it. Fortunately, I got here today. So, all right. There we go. Give me some cards. Going to be some uh, card-like items. 
go ahead and empty it out here, and then we'll go ahead and show you what they all are. So, there we go. Is that everything? That is everything. Okay, so, first up is the Corey Snyder poster card from uh, Sports Heroes. Has a uh, kind of short interview with him, uh, a couple photos there. Voila. Oh, it's a little booklet there, too. It comes with a big photo inside. I've never seen this before, honestly, until I saw the front cover of it on his site. Then a little info on the back of it there as well. Cool. Happy to add that one, because like I said, I didn't even know that existed until I saw it uh, up there. So, yeah, fun stuff. Um, got, let's see here. This is an 8x10 by the TV Sports Mailbag. There you go. Again, first time that I've seen this one. I don't think I even knew that that existed until just now. So, happy to add that one. And another 8x10, the 1987 Superstars of the 90s 8x10 poster, which it says right on the back of it there. And that's the front of it as well. So, adding some big items in there. And then we've got some regular normal cards right here as well. One of these I have never seen. I knew existed, but I'd never seen before. So I'll mention that when I get to it. A few of these I had never seen before in my life. So... Yeah, let's see what we've got here. Well, first up, the uh, St. Vincent and the Grenadines put out a 30-cent stamp that had Corey Snyder on it. So I've got that now. This is from, what, 1991, I want to say? Somewhere in the early 90s, at least. It doesn't look like it has a year written on it there. Uh, let's see here. We've got the uh, cover pieces from the uh, Red Foley sticker book. It had Snyder featured on them. Good to add those. Got the Opeachy version. You'll see the Opeachy logo right there of Snyder's sticker. From, is this the 87 set? The 88 set. 88 there. Uh, let's see here. We have the non-gloss version of the Young Superstars card. It, you can see a little bit of gloss. There was nowhere near as glossy as the regular one. It just has kind of more of a matte finish. Very similar to like a 93 Tops card. Speaking of 93 Tops, got the 93 Tops with a blank back. Fun to add those in. Always nice to see those come up. Uh, let's see here. This is the, is this the 93, it's 93 or 94 uh, LAPD Corey Snyder card. The product sets 93 94. I have one of them. This is the one that I didn't have. I don't remember which is which, but either way, I've got both of them now. So that was the most important there. Uh, moving on, another little thing of these here. We have the, this is the red backwards. Okay, so this is the Opeachy version of uh, Snyder's 1987 sticker. Red back with uh, French and English text. We have the uh, Opeachy version, once again, right there, of Snyder's 89 sticker. I believe this is. Is that 89? That's yeah, 89. So, there you go. The Opeachy version of his sticker back card. Goes nicely with the top one that I already have. I've also got the Opeachy uh, of the uh, one here with him and Pete Incavilia together on the sticker. Got the Opeachy back there. Um, I'm supposed to have the hardback test version from 87 in here as well. Not seeing that, unfortunately, but I'll see what's up with that, find out what the deal was there. That may have been the one that I was trying to find and couldn't get a hold of. There's one that he had that uh, he had up on his site and was like, ah, nope, don't have that one anymore. So let me make sure it's not, not in there. So that might have been what that one was. And we have the uh, 87 Fleer Baseball's Best Sluggers vs. Pitchers Box Bottoms. Not the greatest condition. The edges and the corners are all great. A little bit of wear on the card itself, but this is the first time I've ever even seen this card. I knew it existed, but I'd never seen a scan of it or anything like that. So being able to finally get a hold of this one, very happy to do so. You can see the back right there as well. But yeah, real happy to be able to add that one in. So overall, absolutely ecstatic to be able to add these into the Corey Snyder collection. So good stuff there. No TTMs today, nothing autographed, but I don't care. It's a huge addition for the Snyder collection. So Thanks for checking this out. We'll hopefully have a little bit more here to follow up this week. Hopefully uh, get some TTMs coming back to me. And got a stack of 20 of them right here that I need to write up and mail out. So I think we're going to go and get started on that. Put some pen to paper today and get them all out by the weekend. All right, it is Saturday. I'm in the car. We have a new one, by the way. And I don't have a mount on it for my phone. So I'm having to pile up a sweatshirt here and uh, try talking to you guys into that. And... Uh, Hopefully we don't have to hit the gas or the brakes real quick and send my phone flying or anything. There we go, we're moving in. Okay, we're good. <laughs> we're cool. It's moving a little bit, nothing too bad. But anyways, I have three items in the mail. One is an eBay purchase, two are TTMs. Let's take a look at that eBay purchase first. It was from MSU Bear Fan 9 on eBay. Not sure what I bought from that particular seller, but we'll find out right now. 
Let's see here. Come on, there we go. And I bought a whole bunch of stuff recently, so uh, not sure which it's going to be in this one. Yeah. Looks like a single card. Yeah, it was, okay, one of the 72 tops cards that I bought for the high numbers. It's the rookie card of John Curtis, Rich Hinton, and Mickey Scott, card number 724 in the high numbers there. At the very least, I believe it's Curtis who signs by mail. Hinton occasionally does, but he also does some Rangers alumni stuff because I think he lives here in the area. So hopefully I can get him in person at some point or catch him when he's doing TTMs. Uh, let's see here, let's go to the TTMs now. We've got RL Cleveland, Ohio. This one I believe is going to be a former Cleveland Browns wide receiver. Reggie Langhorn should be who this is. Let's see here. It looks like he signed everything. Unfortunately, it looks like his Sharpie's kind of dying out a little bit. Came out a little thin looking on some of these, but still pretty good overall. That's uh, right there. I'll show you one of those. 91 Fleer right there. But yeah, you can see on the index card, I had this custom index I had already printed up, and I figured, yeah, we'll throw it in too. But see, it's kind of fading out a little bit there, but still, came out all right. I'm good with it. Is he really in the Foghorn? No, he's not really the Foghorn Leghorn. Oh, uh, boy. So, anyways, got another one here. This one is from JK. This one from Trenton, New Jersey. And this is going to be an interesting one because uh, anybody who listens to TTM Cast will remember that I mentioned this guy because he just got into the Hall of Fame recently, the Football Hall of Fame. And uh, I mentioned, yeah, I tried him once by mail and didn't get anything back. And uh, Jeff said, oh, yeah, hey, I've gotten him twice. And I'm like, what, 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 what kind of crap is this? So I'm like, all right, fine. As we were on the air, I went and got on Sport Lots and found some cards of him, and I just mailed them off the other day, and now this one that I mailed out two years ago has come back. So if this is who I think it is, then it should be Joe Klecko, new member of the Football Hall of Fame. Fingers crossed that's who it is, fingers crossed they signed it, and yes, indeed, that is what we've got right there. So, there you go. Very happy to land that one. It's one that I needed for my... Uh, my uh, football fan favorite set right there. I now have all of the members of the New York Sack Exchange in that set. So, yeah, fun stuff right there. Glad to get those. And, uh, yeah, that's it for the week because it's Saturday here. So, once again, thanks for tuning in. And, uh, yeah, check out TTM Cast, the podcast that I am a part of, co-host with uh, Jeff Baker. Check my website, dfwgraffer.com. I'm dfwgraffer on all social media. I'm picking up the phone now, so it's a little shaky here, but... There. Sorry. No, no, it's not your fault. I just, okay. I, I, there we go. There, there. <laughs> Trying to hold on to it just right there. I was blocking the camera at first, and I'm like, whoop, that's not going to work. But yeah, check all those out. Uh, sportscollectors.net, sports card forum for any kind of address needs. Check those places out. And uh, yeah, hopefully I have some more to talk about next week. I've been mailing out a whole lot here lately. We'll see if they come back to me. On our ZK, and I sent this one out quite a while ago. Whoa. My camera just slid. And we're just going to try this again. <clears throat> okay. 